got to see him in the office. So I got you. You're probably right, but you can probably you know, want to see you first in the office before okay. the situation. Okay. So, we'll stay on course for that as of now, unless okay. things change. Yeah, okay. I know we took you off the blood thin of the other quests right. uh, because of the balls and yeah. your media. So, you're, you're on aspirin and plavix when you came in? Yeah. You're on both? I was. Okay. Yes. So, you know, it's been more than a year since your last stent, the stent during your heart attack. Right. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, it's okay with you, is I'm going to increase your aspirin to a full dose, adult, 325 milligrams adult aspirin. Okay. We're going to stop your platelets. Okay. So you don't need to be on both anymore. Okay. okay. The higher dose of aspirin is also the recommended dose for patients with AFib oh, okay. that cannot tolerate blood thinners. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, there is a device called the Watchman device, which we'll talk about. I know there's a lot of things going on. It's a little plug we can put into the heart to help prevent any clots from forming in that one chamber when you have AFib. Oh, really? I just got done doing my third one today. Oh, really? Yeah. So that okay. may be an option for you. But okay. let's first, let's go ahead and get you feeling better. Let's okay. move forward with the AFib ablation, and then we can talk more about that in the near future. Very good. Okay. We've been talking about that in my family, so. I'm sorry? We've been talking about the Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to see you. You too. Questions for me? Uh, yeah. uh, there was some uh, mention, and I wasn't here when she, she was admitted, but uh, of digital toxicity, was she digital toxicity? Yeah, her, her digital level was high, uh, because probably because of the your urinary infections, also your liver was affected, so the metabolism of that medication probably was affected. So we stopped that. Okay. It's not that you're on too much medication, it's just when you're on that, you get acutely ill for other reasons. Okay. Sometimes the metabolism of that gets slowed down and the levels start to rise. Oh man, that makes so, sense. Yeah, so that stopped. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, uh, well uh, earlier they informed me that my program is back on my schedule. At a low dose, 3.125 yeah. twice a day. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. And that's, yeah. And that's, and that's all we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to we'll discontinue your Johnson altogether. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, sir. And we did that last time, if I remember correctly, her, that's when her heart rate started going up. And, uh, and, and so I don't well, know. yeah, so that's that's the issue we run into is, uh, with, uh, with your AFib. The chloride, you know, lowers your heart rate when you have AFib, but also lowers blood pressure. So if your heart rate's going away, we would like to usually increase the dose of your chloride. But then some people cannot tolerate a higher dose of the chloride because your blood pressure drops too low. So it's kind of a balancing game. That's right for you. I think an eighth of ablation. Uh, yep. So nice. until the ablation happens, if she's got you know one thirty or whatever and can't control it at home, we just got to go get it so, controlled. Yes. Yeah, so when your AFib is going to go fast at times. Right now you're in a normal rhythm, but I wouldn't be surprised if you're right back in AFib next week, tomorrow, who knows? Okay. Very good. Uh, when your heart rate's going fast, do you feel it? Half the people with yeah. AFib. Feel palpitations, they feel short of breath. Sometimes I do, but I do not now. Okay. Well, now you're in a normal rhythm. So okay. the reason I'm asking is some people could, half the people that have AFib don't even know they're in AFib. Their heart rates can be going to 120, 130 beats a minute. They feel just fine. The other half feel tired, palpitations, short of breath, may have some chest discomfort. So that's what I'm trying to gauge. Now, she can feel it. She can definitely feel it. So you get short of breath. Now, she, she gets, it's going to she, be hard to treat yeah. the fast episodes with medications because you cannot tolerate a higher dose of the chloride. And that's why we're talking about the ablation. The good news is when your heart is going that fast, I know it makes you feel bad, but it's not dangerous. It's not going to cause a cardiac arrest or anything of that sort. AFib is a very common abnormal rhythm. Some people stay in AFib and they're tacking away at 120, 130 for days. So it, do, it doesn't cause any major issues. Okay. I know it's. I know we want to make you feel better. I know that that's the whole point. The whole piece of the ablation 
it's so that way, if it's, if it's successful, then... I'm ready to. Yeah. yeah. So, what was a good scenario that we need to call 911 versus what we... Yeah. What she just needs to stay at home. What? If your heart rate's going fast and you overall feel okay, uh -huh. you know, yeah, yeah, don't feel too good, a little short of breath, you're okay. If you feel bad, that's when you come back to the hospital. Uh, if you're feeling like I, I, I just don't feel good, something's not right, then you yeah, come in the hospital, we can use IV medications to slow your heart rate down. But you don't have to necessarily come back into the ER for fast AFib if overall you're feeling okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. I know it's frustrating. AFib is a very frustrating room. Trust yeah. me. Millions and millions of people have it. And oftentimes it's one of those things it's kind of hard to treat effectively unless you do something like an ablation or aggressive medical therapy, for, which unfortunately for you, you can't tolerate it because your blood pressure drops too low. Well. Mm -hmm. okay. well, thank you very much. Not the answers, I'm sure. Oh, but thank you. Hey, We're that's going in the right sorry. direction. That's yeah. Let's get, her, yeah. let's get her feeling better from her UTI from the uh, deliver if you yeah. start to come down, and then hopefully it'll be right around the corner. Very good. Thank okay. you, sir. All right. Any other questions? So when, no, tell them when she might come home, I don't guess. Uh, I should say, uh, yeah. uh, I would anticipate at least in a day or two. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, make sure your liver test kind of come back down and everything normalizes before you get you home. Okay. Okay. And the ablation set for, you know, you got it on the 24th, and then you think the ablation is going to be a few days after that? I think we can survive until then, huh? Yeah, we'll keep we will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the AFib tends to act up when you're sick from another like, illness is a common oh. trigger of your AFib oh, acting yeah. up and going fast. So let's say you have a urinary infection. Okay. And you, that can make your AFib trigger and go up. So any type of infection or illness or stress of the body can cause an AFib of the same. So okay. hopefully if you cure your UTI, get your livers and you're kind of back and he's cured, that should hopefully prevent any frequent episodes of AFib. And this is my grandson, Randy, I forgot. He's the one that brings me to the hospital and sits the side of my bed if I'm not feeling well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I do what everybody does. We, you know, we we start getting, we start taking temperatures. Oh, that one was a little high. Let's take another one. Oh, that was a little high. Let's take another one. You had a fever when you first came in, right? Yes. That's a very common trigger for AFib. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. We see AFib a lot in the hospital setting because people are sick for other reasons. They just had surgery, they drink the pneumonia, urinary infections, other types of infections. AFib acts up. Some people mm -hmm. have never had AFib before that they do, and all of a sudden it's a newly diagnosed AFib because they're sick for another reason. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. I'll come check up on you tomorrow, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.